Hi guys, it's Ben Randall here, back again with another demo of a fantastic new device from G-Lab. It's the G-Lab Wawiwah, and it's a wah pedal with a unique sound all its own and some really well thought out additional features which makes it really different from your average wah pedal. The Wawiwah has five switches on its front panel. Three of these switches allow you to adjust the sound of the wah. There's a bass switch which allows you to adjust the bass attenuation. There's a deep switch which allows you to change the effect intensity. And there's a Q factor which allows you to change the resonance of the wah sound. There's also a volume switch which allows you to adjust the volume of the effect signal by up to 3.5 decibels. There's also a battery on off switch on the front panel of the wah. And this allows you to turn the internal 9 volt battery on or off. Uh, which is a great feature because it means you don't have to worry about removing any cables from the wall to uh, turn the battery off. The Huawei wall can also be powered by a 9 volt DC adapter, uh, which is another great feature. Another great feature on the G-Lab Huawei wall is the option to choose between two methods of switching the wall on and off, and this can be done via a switch on the side of the wall pedal. The first option you can choose is the conventional on-off switching method found on most other wires, which is the uh, on-off switch concealed underneath the pedal. The second option is a touch sensitive approach, which is a great feature because it allows you to turn the wire on by applying pressure to it and you can turn the wire off by simply removing your foot. Uh, and this is very similar to the functionality found in the G-Lab wire pad. Uh, which is my previous demo, and if you want to find out more about that, you can do so by uh, visiting my YouTube profile. The movement of the pedal itself is also incredibly smooth, because the pedal features a photo element rather than the conventional potentiometer found on more traditional wires, and this makes the Huawei wah incredibly easy to use. But if you do prefer the feel of a bit more resistance that a conventional wah will give you, there is a resistance adjuster uh, on the back of the Huawei wah, so you can tailor the feel of the pedal to your liking. To top it all off, the G-Lab Huawei wah is incredibly durable, made from stainless steel and it features a powder coated case, making it very rugged and suitable for a gigging context. So what does the Huawei Wah sound like? Well I'll now demonstrate the different tones the Wah can produce and how you can alter the sound of the Wah to best suit your amp sound.
been able to hear the overall sound of the Wari Wah from those demonstrations and seen just how versatile this pedal really is. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful and uh, I really think you should check out the G-Lab Wah if you're considering buying a Wah pedal or simply considering adding another pedal to your collection because it's got a fantastic sound and some great additional features. It's also a true bypass so it won't suck out any of your tone and it's great value for money. So I hope you check it out and thanks for watching.